Done. Good. Get that thing hooked up to the car. Watch this. Yeah. Okay. Welcome to the future. Welcome to the future. <laughs> Welcome to the channel, guys. I'm just truly me, Lee. And today, as the title says, we are reacting to Back to the Future. This is a movie from the 80s, 1985. This movie was released uh, in 1985. Wow, that was like a while ago. And so... Today we're reacting to this movie. Now, I'm a huge Lego fan. The only thing I know about this movie, Back to the Future, is that there is a Lego set um, for like Back to the Future theme and it's a car. I don't own it, but maybe after watching the movie, I'm going to start saving up for that Lego set. What you guys think? Um, but yes, today we're reacting to this movie. Now, if you guys been following me for a while like um, my other channels like my music channel and such you know that i'm a huge vintage fan so this is a movie from the 80s and possibly possibly i'm gonna like it just because it is it, vintage and and i love vintage basically <laughs> all right guys um enough of me talking and let's crack on with today's reaction um so Specky's on headphones, earphones in place, and let's crack on. Um, by the way, do you follow me on Twitch? If you don't follow me on Twitch, you should, guys, you should. Um, I'm streaming on a regular basis, and you're probably going to like to come by and say hi to me. And also, don't forget to like this video, and, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. All these little things are helping us with growing this amazing community. So thank you so much. All right, guys, now let, let's crack on with today's reaction. He's like quite a famous director. I don't know much about movies, but I know of his name. Why do I have goosebumps? Like, I'm just seeing a bunch of clocks. And I, I have goosebumps. In other news, officials at the Pacific Nuclear Research Facility have denied the rumor that a case of missing plutonium was in fact stolen from their vault two weeks ago. A Libyan terrorist group had claimed responsibility for the alleged theft. However, okay. officials now attribute the discrepancy to a simple clerical error. Who has so many cloaks? Huh? Man, I like the hey, idea. Doc. 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 Hello, anybody home? Hi, Stein. Come here, boy. What's going on? With, oh, God. Oh, Jesus. That is disgusting. What the hell is it? Yeah. You! Marty, is that you? Hey! Hey, Doc! Where are you? I thought I found you. Listen, can you meet me at Twin Pines Mall tonight at 1.15? I made a major breakthrough and I'll need your assistance. Wait, wait a minute. 1.15 in the morning? Yeah. Doc, what's going on? Where have you been all week? Wait a minute, the dog. Are you telling me that it's 8.25? Precisely. Damn. I'm late for school. <laughs> this is so cool. Nice tune. Go, oh, Jennifer. Marty, don't go this way. Strickland's looking for you. If you get caught, it'll be four tardies in a row. It wasn't my fault. The doc said all his clocks 25 minutes slow. Well, doc? Am I to understand you're still hanging around with Dr. Emmett Brown McFly? Party stuff for you, Miss Parker. And one for you, McFly. I believe that makes four in a row. Now, let me give you Nichols with a free advice, young man. 
The so-called Dr. Brown is dangerous. He's a real nutcase. If you hang around with him, you're going to end up in big trouble. Oh, yes, sir. I notice your band is on the roster for the dance auditions after school today. Why even bother, McFly? You don't have a chance. You're too much like your old man. No McFly ever amounted to anything in the history of Hill Valley. Whoa. Ooh. Yeah, rock and roll, baby. Okay. Nice. <laughs> They're not impressed. <laughs> What's the problem? I'm afraid you're just too darn loud. Next place. Does your mom know about tomorrow night? Oh, get out of town. My mom thinks I'm going camping with the guys. Well, Jennifer, my mother would freak out if she knew I was going up there with you. And I get the standard lecture about how she never did that kind of stuff when she was a kid. I mean, look, I think the woman was born a nun. She's just trying to keep you respectable. <coughs> well, she's not doing a very good job. Terrible. Save the clock tower! Save the clock tower! Whoa! Mayor Wilson is sponsoring an initiative to replace that clock. 30 years ago, lightning struck that clock tower and the clock hasn't run since. It's my dad. Right. I've got to go. Nice. <laughs> no, I feel like I, I wouldn't do that in front of my mom. Like she would be so mad at me and, and she just casually kissing her boyfriend in front of her dad. I can't believe you loaned me your car without telling me it had a blind spot. Blind spot. I could have been killed. Now, now, Biff, now, I never noticed that uh, the car had any blind spot before when I would drive it. Hi, son. But what are you, blind, McFly? It's there. How else you explain that wreck out there? Now, Biff, <laughs> um, can I can I assume that your uh, insurance is going to pay for the damage? Well, my insurance. It's your car. Your insurance should pay for it. I, I want to know who's going to pay for this. I spilled beer all over when that car smashed into me. Who's going to pay my cleaning bill? Oh gosh, who the heck is that gun? Ah, uh, well, I haven't finished those up yet, but you know, I I figured since they were due to hello. <laughs> Hello, anybody home? Oh, huh? oh my god, I wanna punch that guy. Think. I gotta have time yeah. to get him retired. Yeah. Uh, do you realize what would happen if I handed my reports in your handwriting? Yeah. I'll get fired. You wouldn't want that to happen, would you? Would you? Oh, of course not, Biff. Now I wouldn't want that to happen. Story a million times. <laughs> you felt sorry for him, so you decided to go with him to the fish under the sea dance. No, no, it was the enchantment under the sea dance. Our first date. I'll never forget it. It was the night of that terrible thunderstorm. Remember, George? Your father kissed me for the very first time on that dance floor. And it was then that I realized that I was going to spend the rest of my life with him. I don't think he notices. Pretty sad, actually. What's going on? Oh, doesn't he need to be at the, the, these? Yeah, he needs to be at some some place at one something. Hello. Are you gonna fall asleep? Yeah. Uh, Doc. Uh, no, no, don't don't be silly. Listen, this is very important. I forgot my video camera. Can you stop by my place and pick it up on your way to the mall? Uh, yeah. Um, I'm away. Mm hmm. Hey, Einstein, where's the dot, boy? Huh? No way! <laughs> That's a car from the Lego set! Or should we say the Lego set is from this movie? Oh my god! Who? What the heck is this? You made it! Yeah! Welcome to my latest experiment. This is a big one, the one I've been waiting for all my life. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26, 1985, 1.18 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. 
please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right, check done. Good. Get that thing hooked up to the car. Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Whoa! That's scary! But why the dog? I was scared for the dog! Watch this, watch this. What? The thermal displacement occurred exactly 1.20 a.m. at zero oh, Where is the dog? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future to be exact. Look out! <laughs> Where is the dog? Tell me that the dog is okay, please. What? What is it hot? It's cold, damn cold. <laughs> oh, he's all right. Hi, you little devil. Einstein's clock is exactly one minute behind mine and still ticking. No, 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 no. This sucker's electrical. But I need a nuclear reaction to generate the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity I need. Doc, you don't just walk into a store and... and oh, I record, man. Did you rip that off? Of course. From a group of Libyan nationalists. They wanted me to build them a bomb. So I took their plutonium and in turn gave them a shiny bomb casing full of used pinball machine parts. <laughs> All right. Safe now. Everything's that line. Where are you going? That's right. 25 years into the future. I've always dreamed of seeing the future, looking beyond my ears, seeing the progress of mankind. Oh my God. They found me. I don't know how, but they found me. Who? Run for it, Marty! Oh no, they're far! Oh no, he's gonna he's gonna time travel. What the heck? Holy shit. See if you bastards can do 90. He's gonna time travel. Ah! He... Gripping yourself, it's all a dream, it's just a very intense dream. No, it is, man. Did you win? He traveled to the past, not the future. He's he's oh, <sighs> feel, isn't it? So he is about 30 years, he traveled 30 years into the past. This has got to be a dream. Uh, that's why he has to travel back to the future <laughs> now, he needs to find his way out. What? Great, you're alive. Hey, McFly! They are a little bit, um... What do you think you're doing? Death. Huh? 
Hey, I'm talking to you, McFly, you Irish bug. Oh, hey, Biff. Hey, guys, how are you doing? Yeah, you got my homework finished, McFly? No uh, way. Well, actually, I figured since it wasn't... That's his dad. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Beeping? <laughs> um. He's a peeping Tom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> well, safe and sound now, back in good old 1955. 1955? <gasps> You're my mom. You're my mom. My name is Lorraine. Lorraine Bates. Yeah, this is mom. But you're. Uh, he took his dad's so, place. Uh, you're so <sighs> thin. Just run. Calvin, why? Why do you keep calling me Calvin? Well, that is your name, isn't it? Calvin Klein. It's really <laughs> <lovely underwear. laughs> well, I guess they call you Calvin. Uh, a big bruise you have there. Oh, no! Oh, my God, it's my mother. Now, let's see. You already know Lorraine. This is Milton. This is Sal. This is Toby. And over there in the blank pen is little baby Joey. So one of them is the ones that... My Uncle Joey. Oh. Better get used to these bars, kid. What? <laughs> oh, my Joey God! Being in his blank pen. He cries whenever we take him out, so we just leave him in there all the time. How is this, how is he gonna get out of these, man? Like how? I just can't wrap myself around it. Doc. Doc. I'm from the future. I came here in a time machine that you invented. Now I need your help to get back to the year 1985. <laughs> Just give me goosebumps. And look at this picture. It's my brother, my sister, and me. Look at her sweatshirt, Doc. Class of 1984. Pretty mediocre photographic fakery. They cut off your brother's hair. I got enough practical jokes for one evening. Good night, future boy. No, wait, Doc. Doc, the, the, the bruise. The bruise in your head. I know how that happened. You told me the whole story. Which is what makes time travel possible. <laughs> oh, my God! There's something wrong with the starter. So I hit it. Here. After I fell off my toilet, I drew this. Come on, it has to be Flux capacitor. This <laughs> is I finally invent something that works. <laughs> Somehow we've got to sneak this back to my laboratory. We've got to get you home. Fucker's electrical, but I need a nuclear reaction to to generate the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity. 1.21 oh, gigawatts. Look, all we need is a little plutonium. Oh, I'm sure that in 1985, plutonium is available in every corner drugstore, but in 1955, it's a little hard to come by. Marty, I'm sorry, but the only power source capable of generating 1.21 gigawatts of electricity is a bolt of lightning. Unfortunately, you never know when or where it's ever going to strike. We do now. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Is gonna strike the clock tower precisely 10:04 p.m. next Saturday night. If, if we could somehow harness this lightning next Saturday night, we're sending you back to the future. <laughs> you must not see anybody or talk to anybody. Anything you do could have serious repercussions on future events. Do you understand? Uh, he already talked to yeah. his mom sure. and his okay. dad. I'm. Yeah, well, I might have sort of bumped into my parents. Just as I thought. This proves my theory. Look at your yeah. brother. His head's gone. It's like it's like it's been erased. No, he's changing the Whoa. events. Really oh my God, he's changing. He's changing the events that are going to happen in the future. What is he going to do now? Oh my. God, he should have gone to these doctors 
place first, but actually he was trying to. Man, this is absolutely insane. I'm going to have a little break now, guys. I'm going to have a little break. I'm going to split this reaction in two parts since it's easier this way to upload them. And so this is the end of part one, guys. So um, now I'm going to have a little break and then I'm going to record part two. So if you like to see part two, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave your comments in the comment section box below. Um, part two is coming soon, guys. So yeah, you better subscribe and hit that bell button so you won't miss out. And that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time for part two. <laughs> Bye-bye. I love you all. Take care.